Hello friends who live on the internet, Angela here. Um, so I've been having some issues. Um, I said in one of my videos before that I have MS and I've been having some issues with my MS. Um, my, like the right side, one of my cranial nerves is affected right now and I'm numb like all along here. It's very weird. And my fingertips are numb, which has to do with crochet. So anyway, um, yeah, I haven't been doing the best. I'm okay. But yeah, it feels really weird to have the side of your neck and face and back of your head numb. Um, you know, that's life when you have a chronic illness like that, an autoimmune disease of some type. So anyway, um, it's been like that for like a week and some. Um, so I guess this is officially a flare. And I've kind of fallen off the keto wagon now too, just a little bit because it's Christmas and there's cookies and candy and everything everywhere. So basically at this point I've decided keto is going to have to be well, that's just good enough <laughs> until Christmas is over because it's just impossible for me to constantly be saying no to things. I just can't. So anyway, <clears throat> but I do have a few crochet things. Oh, oh, so MS affects your emotions too and sometimes makes you act irrational. Um, and it's very frustrating for me because I don't like to act irrational. <laughs> like I want to be calm and rational, right? But at my crochet group, a lady was talking about Christmas and her family. And I was, like, it was just really bothering me. Like, I was putting my experiences and my feelings on what she was saying, which isn't fair at all. But anyway, I kind of popped off at the end of crochet group. So I came home and I started feeling bad about it. I was like, oh, it's so frustrating. Like MS, it's, it can make you do really weird things. So anyway, I found her on Facebook and I sent her a message and I don't know if she's read the message or not, but she hasn't responded at least. But anyway, I, apologizing for my behavior. I don't know. It's super frustrating. Like when I have an MS attack, all sorts of stuff happens that is just really frustrating. But anyway, so yeah, my fingertips are numb. I'm still doing okay with crocheting, but it does feel a little weird because you can't necessarily feel everything. And I'm sure they'll come back. I mean, relapsing, remitting MS, pretty much, you know, it comes back for me, for the most part. I mean, I only have a little bit of residual damage. Like this finger has been numb for years and years now my pinky on my left hand, but I still use it fine. It works fine. It just feels weird and numb. So anyway, <clears throat> but for the wavy wrap, I was going to show you, I started the sewing and you all know if you watch <laughs> that I hate sewing pieces together. So anyway, um, I've been working on it. I've gone through two rows and, um, I started sewing the third row on. So we're getting there, but yeah, it's going to take a while because I sew for a little bit and then I'm like, ugh, okay, I'm done now. <laughs> so that's a wavy wrap and here's all my pieces that need to be sewed on, like just so many pieces. Um, so I wanted to make the moon butterfly shawl and sorry, my nose is, I don't know. Anyway, I wanted to make the moon butterfly shawl and I had bought some shawl in a ball. And so I started working on it and something I'm learning by trial and error is if you have a really neat, fancy yarn, like with variegation in it or whatever, and you put it on a fancy pattern, it just doesn't work. Like you kind of need to have a plain yarn with a fancy pattern or a fancy yarn with a plain pattern, plain ish, you know, um, so anyway, I did the shawl and a ball yarn and the butterflies, like they're showing up better on camera, I think, but they just aren't showing up like I had pictured them to show up. So I was going to tear it out and a friend said, don't tear it out, just, you know, finish it. 
So I finished it with a bunch of different stitches that I just did on my own, some shell stitches and stuff, and I finished the shawl. So then I started working on um, the same pattern, but with my grape jelly Karen Big Cake that I had bought. And this is much more like what I had kind of expected it to look like. Like the butterflies really pop out on this because of the yarn just being really plain-ish. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and make this whole big shawl in butterflies and see how it comes out. Um, but yeah, that's everything. <laughs> I haven't been doing tons and tons and tons of crocheting or sewing because I just don't have it in me. I'm really tired all the time from the MS and going off keto for the holidays isn't helping that because um, I get tired when I've got carbs in me too. So anyway, that's about what's happening and um, I'm tired. I'm having an MS flare. I'm still crocheting some, but you know, I'll be okay. It'll go away and I'll be back to normal. So, um, or at least mostly back to normal. Like sometimes I'm not totally back to normal, you know, with MS, you can get residual damage, but I've had MS now. Like my first attack was 25 years ago. My first symptom was 25 years ago. Um, so, I mean, obviously I'm doing pretty good. And then, and at this point, unless it, you know, morphs into secondary progressive where I get disabled, I'm doing pretty good. So as long as I stay how I'm going, I just kind of assume I'll be okay when this flare goes away. Um, this is actually the first actual flare I've had for a long time. Like I had a lot of exhaustion before I started keto, but, um, and I started keto in February and that's why is because I had been so exhausted for over a year at that point. I had just been exhausted, which MS just makes you super exhausted. So anyway, but hopefully I can get through this flare up without popping off at anybody else for things that aren't their fault. And, and, um, you know, without losing it. <laughs> so um, hopefully I'll see you all soon. Sorry this turned so long, but, uh, I'm going to keep working on stuff just slower than normal and, um, that's it. All right. Talk to you all later. Sorry this was kind of a bummer e <laughs> video. I've been feeling kind of down around Christmas too, so, um, my next video I'll try to make a lot more cheerful. Okay, <laughs> talk to you later, bye.